Hey guys, in today's episode of Economics TV, I'm going to share with you the three biggest money and life myths that's destroying lots of dreams in today's America. Most people aren't living the life that they want. If you don't have the relationship, the career, the experiences, and the money that you want, there are only three reasons why. You haven't focused on your mission, your mindset, and your money. I'm Abong Eka, and besides being a best-selling author, CPA, and leadership small business champion, I show everyday people how to take their ideas, create valuable products and services, raise their prices, and get raving customers that can't wait to do business with them. And I do all of those in four simple steps. I want to help you. I want to change your life. I want to change your relationships. I want to change your business. And these are the principles of economics. And you're watching Economics TV. Hey, everybody. This is Abong Eka, the Prince of Pricing and Prospecting, founder of the Economics Academy and Economics I'm also a CPA and a certified professional coach. Now, you could say that I've done a lot of damn things. I have, and I continue to do so, mainly because I realize the importance of getting stuff done in life. I, I understand. Look, I want to be very clear with you about me and my philosophy. Uh, on the show today, I want to help you. I want to help you understand uh, the three biggest myths that are destroying people's dreams, des destroying people's goals, their ability to live the life that they want. And, and, and that's keeping them reserved in a particular area. My, my philosophy is economics, mission, mindset, and money. And the people who are kicking ass in life, who are living the best possible lives, who are doing amazing things in all walks of life, I'm not just talking about making money, I'm talking about living a fulfilled, a more rich, enriching, and, and, and thought-provoking life. It's mission, mindset, money. They have at least a foothold in those three particular areas. And the people who struggle have either one or two or none at all. And you can ask yourself if that's you as well. So like I said earlier, I'm looking over here, so I'm looking for one of the books that, that I that I subscribe to. And uh, it, this is only part of my library. Um, for those who don't know, I consider myself a Stoic. I, I, I believe in the ideas of Stoicism. And it's, a, it's an amazing philosophy of, of living in the now and and providing value in the now so today's episode i want to talk about the three biggest myths that are killing you and distracting you or destroying you from your dreams and your goals and your hopes and and then maybe at some point we'll talk a little bit more about how you can overcome these things and and i mean again at some point in time it may be too late momentum and discipline are, are, vo are very important parts of becoming successful in anything and you're doing i'm not just talking about money it could be any type of success anything you're trying to accomplish so so i understand However, if you can create some small momentum, the likelihood of you actually achieving some damn thing that you really want to achieve increases exponentially. It's so easy to tell yourself, you know, to screw off and say, I'm not going to the gym. I'm not working out today. I'm not going to read that book. I'm not going to do that thing. I'm not going to, you know, make that extra call, that sales call. I'm not going to sell that guy. It's easy to be in retreat. And, you know, I talk about a lot about psychology because if you understand how your mind works, you can influence yourself, convince yourself to do what's right, and you can also convince other people to do what's right. And that, that could be selling your product to them. That could be telling them to do something that's productive, adding value to your organization or to your relationships or whatever the hell you're trying to accomplish, right? So I can't find the book. I want to show that real quickly. But uh, what we'll do is when we come back uh, from break, I'm going to go into... Uh, the first uh, of the three myths, and then you know, towards the end, I'll actually give you uh, give you uh, give you some guidance on what to do. Look, my goal here is to help you. I want to help you, whether it's through my programs, whether it's through some of my free content, free videos, free material, whether it's through my best-selling book, Start Me Up, the No Business Plan Business Plan. I get emails and letters from people all over the world asking me for my thoughts and my advice and what I think and when I give it to them I'm able to help them change their lives because they took the first step towards something people do the same thing for me I want to do the same thing for you so uh, stay tuned in the next in the next segment we're or the next uh, yeah the next segment we'll basically go into we'll dive into these points and we're gonna get started stay tuned don't go anywhere tired of clients that nickel and dime you the only reason you're not earning more is because you're not charging enough I know you may be thinking 
But won't my customers complain? They won't, especially if you know what to say. Now for a limited time, get access to my pricing training masterclass with up to four hours of top quality content. Want to charge more for your amazing service and find awesome clients? You know what to do. Click the link below and get your seat for this masterclass. This has helped so many entrepreneurs to set and raise their prices, triple, quadruple their income, and increase their profit margin. There's no reason why you should leave money on the table. Now this is an opportunity for you to invest in yourself, your business, and also increase your revenue. So sign up today. Hey everybody, welcome back to Economics TV. And obviously you know who I am. This is your host, your boy, the founder of Economics, Avong Eka. Every week I come to you to hit you over the head with some truth and knowledge about your mission, your mindset, your money. That is my personal philosophy. That's the philosophy in which I live, the philosophy in which I impart on other people, how I do business, how I work, how I encourage and inspire and empower other people, not only not only the digital landscape, but across, literally across the world. It's the reason why this book was internationally published and all my, all my, my, my teachings and talks, I'm getting information from people and feedback from people all over the world. So it's an amazing experience. I want to thank you guys for being here today. Again, what are we talking about? Today we are going to talk about the three biggest myths, the three biggest money and life myths that are distracting you, destroying you, and keeping you from living the life that you want to live. Now, why this is important? Because if you can identify the things that are impeding you, you have a better chance of defeating it and keeping it moving and thinking a little bit differently. You got it? Now, let's go with number one. The first one is people tell you to buy a house. Now, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I get it. And this is why I'm saying this. Nothing wrong with buying a house. And in, and in many in many opportunities, you should buy one. For example, where, I'm, where I am right now is my own condo, my apartment. I, I actually bought this. And it's great. It's phenomenal. There's a lot of upside to buying. And there's also uh, obviously some downside to buying. The thing that I'm attacking here, before we go into the, the other two, the first one, obviously, people telling you to buy a house is the biggest myth. The reason why I'm attacking it is because people will take one or two sentences and use that as gospel. You got to understand, even using the Bible as an example, the Bible is a big book that has many bo- many other pages of gospel. Gospel is not just one or two sentences. Gospel is actually a, a collection, a collection of information, just like the idea of being someone telling you, save money, go buy a house. That is too easy. Life is not that easy, nor is it that black and white. It's a lot of it is gray. So you have to understand when you get information from somebody, how do you how do you apply that to your life? Too often, too many people aren't thinking critically about what they need to do. They hear something from somebody, like for example, I was in a, I was on Facebook and some people were talking about Gary Vaynerchuk. And he talks about hustle and work so hard and everything else. And some people were saying, oh, this is crack can't listen to him, da, 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 all this stuff. I'm like, look, it doesn't matter what he says. Not be, and, I, and again, I know that I know him. So it's not like I'm not talking disparagingly about him. I, I love that dude. But what I'm trying to say is this. He'll even probably tell you himself. His goal is not to guide your life. It's to tell you what worked for him. And then you can either agree with it or disagree with it. Regardless of what it is, you got to keep it moving. So when you hear somebody give you a two sentence uh, overarching principle of life saying you should buy a house, which is is not as as nuanced, right? It's more of a, it's it's more of a, of a bigger picture talk. It's your responsibility to get more nuanced to how it applies to you. So it made sense for me to buy this condo. Now, would it make sense for me to buy a five bedroom house? Maybe not. Is it easier for me to, to, to rent that out if I had to move to another city than it would be for me to rent my one bedroom uh, condo? Of course, it's easier for me to rent this in many in many cities. So you have to understand the importance of taking information that's big picture and then thinking of it in a nuanced capacity for you. Not everybody's not everybody's ideas, not not what it, not, not everybody's uh, thoughts and beliefs are going to align with what you think is best for you. Now, getting upset about it is actually is a waste of time and it's irrelevant. But the reason it's a myth is because you're not taking what's important to you. You're not taking the, 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 the principles of what's being told to you and then applying to yourself. So let me give you an example. Now you can say to you can probably say to me, A Bong, that's crazy. You 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 even have a philosophy called economics, mission, mindset, money. Correct. 
But you got to understand, they're only they're only one word apiece. You get it? Each person has their own mission. You got to figure that shit out on your own. It has nothing to do with me. Each person has their own mindset. Some people's minds are mush. Some are filled with garbage. Some are filled with useless trivia. Some are filled with, with tabloids and gossip. Some are filled with jealousy and envy. Their mindsets are filled with that. Some people's mindsets are further further advanced in that in that they don't they don't have a setback and that carries on for the rest of their lives. They're not defined by by a challenge that went that they went through. They don't look at themselves in the mirror and say, you know what, I am, someone told me I'm this kind of person, so therefore I am that kind of person. And then 30 years later, they're still referring to themselves as I have ADHD or I have ADD or something like that. That has nothing to do with who you are. That just means you learn differently. And even then, I don't even like that diagnosis because it has a negative connotation. You understand what I'm saying? We're talking about money. Money can mean a myriad of things to you. That can be starting a business. That could be entrepreneurial. That could be a side hustle. That could be a career. That could be freelance. That could be 1099 independent contractor. There's so many lanes in which money applies. There's so many lanes in which mindset applies. It could be philosophy, it could be spirituality, it could be how you see the world, how you interact with other people, how you, how you connect with other people. You understand? Mission is your purpose. Everybody has their own purpose. My purposes may not align with a lot of your purposes, and that's fine. I'm not trying to, to be your Messiah. I'm not trying to be your Savior. So that's my point. That's where my idea of a philosophy is different, because it gives you a framework in which you're supposed to operate in. But too many people, too many of us, We'll, we'll, we'll hear somebody's philosophy and we automatically try to align that to us. And when it doesn't work because it's not meant for us, we complain and say, that person, I, nah, all they talk about is hustle. It's annoying. I got kids. I got da da da. Hey, the minute you start making excuses for where you are and why, why you're there, is there is, is, the, is the minute you start to accept where you are and why you're there. That's the truth. You can, you can like it or not. Now, in the next segment, I'm going to give you the second and third and in our final segment of the show, I'm going to give you some points as to how to deal with the three biggest myths. So the first myth we talked about was just buy a house. And the reason why I'm telling you it's a myth is because it's not as nuanced as, as, as it needs to be, not as nuanced as necessary as it relates to you. Buying a house may make sense for you. Now, you can listen to some people some people who are going to tell you, well, you can um, you get a tax deduction. That's I'm a CPA. I, I know a lot about taxes, but that's great. But you got to understand when it comes to tax deductions, you have to evaluate what that means to you. Most people don't. Most people don't have any itemized deductions. And when they run the numbers, the difference is an extra couple hundred dollars in deductions, not in tax uh, tax savings or tax liability reduction. Deductions, which is a lot different. So you got to understand and that's not including maintenance. If you have a house, landscaping, home security, you can paint the house, your water heater bursts, you got to fix that joint. Windows have a hole in it. You got to fix the windows. The roof leaks. You got to fix the roof. Maybe your, your city and your county starts to jack around with your property taxes like they try to do with ours here sometimes. And, you're, and then all of a sudden, your property tax, you're paying $2,000 a year in property tax, then automatically that goes to five. Where's that extra money going to come from? That's not part of your calculations, right? Something happens, you run, you know, something happens, you have your washer and dryer breaks, you got to buy a new one. You understand what I'm saying? You have a, a tree falls through your, through your front yard. Maybe you have insurance. Maybe you don't. If you run out of place, that's the landlord's responsibility. So it depends on who you are and where you are. Maybe you're in a city where you don't want to live, spend the next 10 years in. If you're in a city where you think you'll be there for at least 10 years, then you can consider buying. So my point is, when you start to use a high-level idea, start to look at it from a nuanced perspective. When I tell people you shouldn't, sometimes you shouldn't buy a house, they look at me like I'm crazy because that's, that's what they were, they were taught. I was told, buy a house and, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. So um, in the next segment, we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, I'm actually going to share with you the next point, uh, the next two the next two biggest myths, and then we're going to come up with the solutions and how you can apply it to your particular life. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Hey, so how do you like the show? I want to thank you for coming. More importantly, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you have any challenges in your life and currently in your business? Something that's keeping you up at night? Some obstacle that you're running into and you don't know how to overcome it I'll tell you what i want to help you i want to talk to you more importantly i want to feature you in one of the future episodes of economics tv and what we're going to do is have a quick conversation share your ideas and go over your challenges as well as solve them on air live so people can watch it now all you have to do is follow the link below 
to see if you're eligible to be a future guest of Economics TV. And I can't wait to talk to you, but also take your business and all of your, your ideas to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back to Economics, Economics TV, and your host, Abong Eka, CPA, Certified Professional Coach, founder of the Economics Academy, as well as the best-selling author, international best-selling author, Start Me Up the No Business Plan, Business Plan. Look, my life, my programs, the things that I do, the whole goal is to help you and to improve what you're doing in your life, right? The whole principles and philosophy of economics is mission, mindset, money. Mission, mindset, money. Your mission, what's your purpose? What are you doing? I show people how to, how to find their purpose based on how I found mine. Um, your mindset, do you have the proper mindset to live the life that you want? Uh, too many people have minds filled with garbage and trash. You're listening to negativity. You're watching bullshit. You're watching gossip, you know, which is, again, to some capacity. But if your mind's consumed with that stuff, then what do you think you're going to put out, right? You put crappy gas, uh, you know, put sugar in your tank. What do you think is going to happen to your car, right? It's not going to work. And your money. I mean, so many people, divorces end because of money. Uh, people fight over money. Families break up because of money. And, and it's understanding whether it's a career, right, in your job and how you can make more money and improve and advance because everybody's seeking something. Or uh, your business, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship uh, side hustle, uh, independent contractor, freelancer, whatever the hell you want to call it, same thing. And too often, you know, you hear these people who will say things like, uh, money won't make you happy, stay away from them. Or they'll say things like, because they, they, they quit, let them quit on themselves. Or they'll say things like, um, I just want to chill and make a little bit of money. You're going backwards, always. Everything costs more money. If you're making the same money and everything is going up. What do you think that have? What is it? What do you think that means to you? That means you're going backwards. So today's show, we were talking today about the three biggest myths that's destroying and distracting you from living the life that you want, having the money that you want, and the experiences that you want in life. The first one I shared with you guys was go buy a house. And I explained the importance of nuance and how that's a nice little principle. But you have to apply, see how that applies to you. And that means running the numbers, talking to people, taking the time to figure out what the hell that means to you. Too many people are, are intellectually lazy and too lazy to do anything. And then they wonder why they can't get what they want. And then they'll just make excuses for why they're there. So the two things I'm going to, the two other things I'm going to share with you, I told you I'm going to tell you three. The first one was obviously buy a house. The second one is going to college. Again, it's a very nice blanket statement. People are changing their statements and how they how they think about college nowadays. And why is that? Because the majority of millennium millennials are saddled with with debt and they're saddled with school loans. I think it was, we're up to like a, a trillion or two trillion dollars or something like that in, in student loans. People are are getting are borrowing a hundred uh, you know a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars to go to college so they can get a liberal arts degree. And then they wonder why they can't get a job because they haven't learned any skills that are useful in today's economy, right? If you go for computers, again, I went for accounting, so I, I made a decision to go for accounting. It wasn't I wasn't because I wanted to be an accountant. I literally made that decision my 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 freshman year. I should go get a, do an accounting degree so I can study accounting and I can get a job and then stay in this country. That literally was a methodical decision I made with my academic advisor and counselor my freshman year in college. And then you wonder why I am where, where I, I am here, where I am, right? Um, and then the other one is because obviously college is again that's a new that's that's a, that's a big picture that's a big picture think. The nuanced point of this is to say, if I'm going to school for a particular purpose, that makes sense. But you have to apply that to you. Don't listen to what one person says and say blanket. That's it. They told me what I need to hear. Don't need to investigate anything more. That's the whole point of why it distracts you. The last one I told you three. The, the third one is. Buy low, sell high. What does that mean? That's pretty obvious. You know, no shit, Sherlock. Um, buy a stock low, sell it high. The problem is nobody ever does it, right? And the people who do, who are able to do that, they put in a lot more work to understand the way the market works and everything else. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of the stock market for the same reason, and I'll explain why in a second. Again, I'm going to have people who disagree with me. Let me tell you why that is. Because anything that requires you not to think about, things that require you to set it and forget it, to... You know, to uh, I put you know six percent of my income into a, a 401k, and I don't have to think about it. And what ends up happening is, when you don't think about something, you put your money into something, and you you're basing your future on something that you're not aware of. 
Now, if you want to invest in a 401k, that's fine. But it's, it behooves you, which is another word, uh, which is another way to say it is in your best interest to understand what you're doing. Doesn't mean you have to be an expert. Doesn't mean you have to get a degree or have to get a, a certification. It means understand something about whatever, wherever you're putting your money in, wherever you're investing. There's so many people who think, I give this guy $10,000 and turn my head and then I wonder why it goes to shit. You have to, in your mind, understand the basic principles of what's happening. So when someone tells you, buy the stock low, sell high, I got people on Facebook always saying things like, I bought this stock, I sold this stock. You're never going to make any money. It's just not going to happen. Not in the long run. Because that's not your real job. Your real job is something else. Let's, 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 take, let's take this back for a second. You are an amateur at what you're doing. My palms are itchy. That means money's coming. You're an amateur at what you're doing. Because your, your full-time job is not investing money and looking on stocks and day trading. Your real job is something else. It just so happens that you have the ability to take spend a few hours a week to do investing. There are people who spend their whole lives doing this, and they're only right 50% of the time. And when you're buying something and selling it and buying something and selling it, you got short-term gains to deal with from a tax perspective, right? Short-term short, short -term gains can be treated as ordinary. If you're day trading, that's ordinary income, not capital gains. So the tax rate is a lot higher. In many cases, 25, 15, 25 to 30 to 35 percent, depending on, on on where you know where you are, where you where you end up income-wise. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot more nuance to it. So when you hear these people like I see it all the time, and I have no problem with that. I'm not again. I'm not. I'm not hating. I'm not. That's not. It's not hating. I'm just. There are people who are watching who aren't going to spend the same amount of effort and work to understand what somebody's doing, and then they'll run and go buy a stock. I got to go out and get Amazon. I got to go out and get Google, and I got to go out and get, I don't know, Microsoft because of so and so. Okay, you get a little bump. You got to understand something. Majority of people like you, the average person who's watching this, the average person who's doing that, doesn't have enough money to make a dent. You bought ten thousand dollars worth of stock. You bought thirty thousand dollars worth of stock. Maybe you made a thousand dollars. Maybe two thousand dollars. That's it. Ten percent, right? In a short period of time. And then when you, when you add taxes and the fees and everything else, that whittles away that your, your return. And the goal is: can I do this consistently enough? We're putting that amount of money at risk. Because again, if stocks go down and go up, you're gonna have to wait, you're gonna have to hold, you have to wait until it goes back up so you can recoup. And then you, then you start going on, 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 on other misjudgment biases that you know the great Charlie Munger talks about. So that's the whole purpose of me sharing that. That's why I'm sharing the, the that's why I was sharing that. So the three things again, just to reiterate, to go over this again. The first is buying a house. There's a lot more nuance to it. Take a look at how it affects you in your life and whether or not it makes sense to buy a house. Don't buy a house because somebody told you to somebody who's not thinking about it, someone who doesn't know your facts and circumstances, someone who hasn't analyzed and done the numbers. When someone tells you, go to college, go to college with a purpose. Nothing wrong with going to college, but do you have a purpose to go to college? Are you going there to learn something specific? Do you have, have you identified a potential opportunity in the future? Am I going to go to college and learn how to do cybersecurity? Hell yeah, because everybody in their mama is, is hiring people like that. And those people are making a lot of money. There are people who didn't even go to college, went to a specialty trade school, and they're making more money than a lot of the college grads that I've seen out in the workforce. You get what I'm saying to you? It's being more proactive and thinking about what's in, what's what's out there in the economy, whether it's chasing an opportunity for a business or chasing an opportunity for a job, then that's when you should go to college. You need to be able to identify the path. The last but not least, buy low, sell high. Hey, if you wanna invest in a stock market, 401k, by all means, have at it. Get the right knowledge that works for you so you understand what's happening. Understand what an, what an ETF or a spider or an index fund looks like and why, why it does what it does, what sectors you're in, what industry you, that you're in. Don't just pick a fund that your employer gives you and you just park money away every single day and then you're checking your statement saying, I made 20% increase this, this year. You didn't make crap because you're not touching it until you're 65, 70. So it doesn't matter, right? The likelihood of it going up over time is going to be there. But if you're going to play this stock market day trading game where every week you're buying and selling new shares, Again, this is a side hustle, and you're playing with your own money. It's not a house money. It's your own money. Your real job is something else. This is not your full-time job. If you took a million dollars and put it at risk, then I'd be all I'd be fine with that. But a lot of people aren't doing that. They're taking advice from people who who trade on the side, who trade for fun, who trade, you know, as a hobby. They trade at night. Oh, I sold the stock today. You guys should go out and buy Fitbit or buy Uber or whatever the Twitter, whatever the hell it is. Who cares? 
what what did you learn that what did you, what information did you get that no one else got that I can't get from somebody who does this for a living? My goal is to to work with people who've done the things that I want to achieve and accomplish for a living. Then I can then I can listen and talk and then apply to what to who I am and what I'm trying to accomplish. So those are the three things. My goal in life is to help you. I told you guys that before. Again, um, you're going to find links in the show notes on how to get a free copy of this book. I'm offering a free copy of this book uh, to at least 200 people. Um, I have to talk to my publisher about getting more, but at least 200 people, I'm going to um, literally give signed copies of this. All I have to do is pay shipping and handling for a copy of that. If you want a copy, the link should be in the show, in the notes, somewhere here. Just do yourself a favor, pick up a copy because you'll have access uh, to... Um, if you pick up a copy, you have access to a, a, a free Facebook group, private Facebook group for those who are looking to start and build or in the middle of growing their business. Um, I go in there periodically, answer questions. I'll do start doing live streams in that group as well. So that'll be another. That'll be a great place for you to jump in there. You got a question, you can get it answered. Uh, other people, the community helping each other, people helping people, right? Um, also, if you want to learn about prices, um, we have great programs for that as well. Uh, you might have seen it in some of the commercials, but if you didn't. Uh, the commercials on the show today. If you didn't, um, just tweet me, reach out to me. Uh, you see the Twitter thing should pop up around here somewhere. Uh, and um, Economics Academy. So we're about to open up the academy again. Uh, for those who don't know who, what that is, it's literally it's a it's it's a, a six week experience, weekly trainings followed by weekly Q and As. So after you've taken the, the the lesson for the week, the next week you've gone through the whatever you're supposed to answer the questions, uh, the homework you're supposed to do. After that. You have Q and A based on what uh, what you've accomplished, what you haven't accomplished, and questions you may have about the modules. Now, the whole purpose of the of Economics Academy is this: is to show entrepreneurs you have to be in business and be served. There's, there's some criteria. You got to be not for everybody. You can't just be starting it. In, I don't care if you have the money. I'm not interested. For people who have a business, people who who sell services, for those who are looking to raise their prices, and for those who are looking to find more valuable, high high targeted clients for their particular business. We do all that in about six weeks. Uh, anything less than that is not enough time. Anything more than that is an absolute waste of time. I got people, I mean, shit, you got people out there doing training for 12 months, six months. Who has time for that? But there are people who can't even get through the six weeks we have. Anything shorter than that, you, you're not focused. You're not going to be, you won't, have, you won't be able to focus and you'll put it off and make up, make excuses. Anything longer than six weeks, you're not getting anything done. If you can't commit six weeks to, to training and getting better, and, and charging more, learning how to, to get in front of more people, and then close them on the phone if you do phone sales, then you you, you don't need to be in business because anything you're trying to accomplish is not going to work. And I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just saying because you're not committed to, to, to learning more. So if you want to learn more about that, you can go to the economicsacademy.com. It's uh, economicsacademy.com forward slash webinar. I got a few training on there, and then you can make an appointment to talk to one of us in our group. And... Um, we do a strategy call, a free strategy call, uh, where we talk about your business and what you're trying to accomplish and see if it's a fit. Makes sense? And if it's a if it's a fit, we let you in the academy. If it's not a fit, we might have some other opportunities and some other things for you to to work on and do. Sound good, everybody? Thanks again. This is an amazing show today. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Again, the three biggest myths that's destroying your life and your business, that's keeping you from living the life that you want. Remember, my philosophy is economics, is mission, mindset, and money. And the importance of those particular areas being congruent, being aligned in order for you to live the life that you want, the life that you need, and the life that you deserve and desire. That's where prosperity comes from. There's no secret. There's no fast way to get there. That is the only way. So my goal every single week is to help you, give you information to help your business, help your life, help your mindset, your mission, but more importantly, also help your money, uh, help you with your money. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks so much. And I will see you next week. Yeah.